Hello and welcome to a short video introduction of the drawing program Paint Tool Sci. Paint Tool Sci is a really popular drawing software, partly because it's very cheap and partly because it's very lightweight, requiring only uh, minimum hardware specifications. For example, I run my Paint Tool Sci on uh, an old laptop uh, that has an Core 2 Duo processor from Intel and only 2 GB of RAM. Uh, and it doesn't even have a dedicated graphics card and it runs smoothly when it's really fine So head over to system access website. You can google for paint tool sci and then uh, You can download your 31 day free trial of paint tool sci Just remember to choose the English version because uh, the default is Japanese It's for Windows only uh, it requires Windows XP or onwards so uh, if you use uh, Apple Mac OS X or Linux then sorry you won't be able to use Paint Tool Sci uh, as of yet. Once you've installed it if you have a 64-bit operating system uh, as I do I use Windows 7 64-bit then you have to change some settings because if you don't it'll behave very unstable. For example if you try and change this setting for the stabilizer it might crash so in order to avoid that, you just find your shortcut, you right click on it, you choose properties. Then you tap over to compatibility and you check the field for run this program in compatibility mode 4 and you choose Windows XP Service Pack 3 on the list. Then you disable your visual themes and that was it. Do only those two things and press OK and you're ready to go. So one of the the cool things about Paint Tool Sci is that it's able to utilize uh, a digitizer, so it has pressure sensitivity, uh, meaning that if you press lightly, it'll, uh, for example, make a fine line, and if you press hard, it'll make a thicker line. I will recommend that you use Wacom. If you don't have a digitizer, you should go for Wacom, because Wacom uh, are one of the only uh, digitizer manufacturers that makes a decent wind tap driver. And the WinTap driver is utilized by both Photoshop and uh, Paint Tool Sci. So many of the others they have faulty uh, they have faulty WinTap drivers, uh, which might cause the pressure sensitivity to not work properly. A major benefit of Paint Tool Sci is uh, let me just demonstrate here. It's able to blend really really well, uh, better than Photoshop actually. And like for example, say if I have this blue surface and I have this whoop, kind of pinkish surface here. And I want them to transition smoothly into each other. Then I choose my watercolor tool here. Uh, that's a big, big size. And I just do this. It's really fast and it's really smooth. Yes, you can do this in Photoshop, but it'll take you a longer time. Uh, also, Photoshop is not keen on running, or the newer versions of Photoshop, they're not keen on running on anything less than an Intel i3 processor or something new like that. Uh, Paint Tool Sci is very lightweight and runs smoothly on virtually any machine that, that's just relatively new. So, in my opinion, this is one of the major benefits of Paint Tool Sci. If you're used to the workflow of uh, other paint, uh, programs such as Photoshop, then you want your shortcut keys to be the same. And you will be happy to know that Paint Tool Sci can, uh, can, can, can register the same shortcuts, uh, shortcut keys uh, as other programs. You can define them yourselves in here. For example, I've set my brush to increase with puncture and decrease with comma, just like in Photoshop. Here are your different types of brushes. If you click any one of them, you can set the shortcut key for it. Like for example, I can choose N. And if it's already taken, uh, Paint Tool Sci will give you a warning saying that you already assigned this to Ink Pen. If you don't want to force the assignment anyway, and no. So I choose B for brush and press OK. The same goes with the, the other tools here. You just double click any one of them. And, uh, and you can set a short, uh, you can set a shortcut key. Now the only bad news, in my opinion, is the swatches. Uh, you right click and you choose set. Then you have to find a new uh, color in your swatches. 
but uh, those watches they are not uh, they are not registered to the file itself, and nor can they be stored uh, as a preset. So if I close this one and make a new file, I will have the same swatches again. Um, but that is, in my opinion, the only bad thing about Paint Tool Sci, and it's not really that bad. You can learn to work around it. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is. Over here, you have your layers. They work pretty much in the same way as in other programs. Um, you can even store a shortcut for creating a new layer that's uh, similar to the one in Photoshop. I chose Control Shift N. And once you've been drawing something, Paint Tool Sci can help you doing something that other programs cannot. It can help you rotate as you draw, making it very easy to go back to zero degrees turn. Um, as you probably know, when you're drawing something, you should check it from multiple angles as well uh, in order to see if it still looks good. Um, and Paint Tools I has the perfect tools for that. Uh, for example, here you can choose to invert the view. So, so it's mirrored. Also, Paint Tools I has a stabilizer. This works um, by, for example, if I want to make some fine details, I can either chug it off completely like this, or I can make the same type of line with it uh, being at its maximum setting. And it'll be like this. Now see, now it's not as jagged, and it's not me that's actually doing it that differently. It's uh, what this stabilizer does, and that's pretty unique for Paint Tool Sci. Also, it has a layer mode called uh, Line Work Layer, which is uh, ac actually um, vector. So when you draw in here, it's uh, vectorized graphics. You might be able to see a little of how it's. When I let go, then it's uh, realigning the, the form or the shape. So this is really cool. And it's great if you want to make cartoon line art and stuff like that. Then you have the perfect tools in here. You can also make folders to put your layers in. Works the same way as in Photoshop. And you have masks for both your layers, uh, yeah, for your layers here. Uh, also works the same way as in Photoshop. That was it for this time. Remember that uh, you can define more brushes and put them in one of the empty slots here. Or you can go to deviantart.com to see other users' uh, settings for their brushes and then chuck them in here. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.